dropshipping is extremely difficult as a beginner, especially when you don't know where to start, which is the exact reason I'm making this video. My goal for today is to give you a clear path to start a profitable dropshipping business. And my promise for you is that if you follow this video click by click the entire way through, then by the end of this video, you'll have your very own dropshipping business ready to launch. So with that being said, who am I and why should you trust me? There's tons of other 20 year olds telling you how you can get rich online. But what's unique about me is that I'm a high school dropout who discovered dropshipping at 19 years old. And this was my way out of the rat race and how I became a millionaire at 22 years old. Since then, I've consistently refined this strategy, which has helped me reach over $10 million in dropshipping sales. And still to this date, I'm doing over $200,000 a month drop shipping. And the funniest part about this is that the entire time that I've been making millions of dollars, the internet has been claiming that this business is dead and does not work. Well, hey, if it's dead, you guys should just stop watching this video right now and save all the profits for the gullible viewers. The same people telling you that these business models do not work are the same people who've never chased their dreams or pushed them outside their comfort zone, and they're still working that same BS 9 to 5 job that they've been in for 30 years. Now, I don't know about you, but I definitely don't want to be taking advice from those people. And today's your lucky day because I spent the last six years building, testing, and refining the strategies that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So here's the best way to start dropshipping in 2023. The very first thing you're going to need to do is to start a free Shopify trial. Currently, they're offering a deal for $1 a month where you also get three days for completely free. So make sure to click my link down below and thanks for supporting the channel. But after you start this trial, all you need to do is click skip. It's going to take you through a questionnaire. Let's click skip again. And then at the end of this, we're going to be able to name our store. So you don't need to name this right now. So you could just put test store in and we'll continue naming that in a few minutes here. So after that, just pick your geographic location. I'm in the United States, so we're gonna leave that, click next. And after that, your store will finish populating and you should be on a page just like I am right now. Now, the next thing you need to do is come over this browse product sourcing apps button, click this, and it's gonna take you to the Shopify app store where we have the most popular different fulfillment apps right now. Here's DSers where you can place orders directly through AliExpress. And then the other recommended ones would be CJ Dropshipping and Zendrop. For today's example, I'm gonna be using Zendrop. So let's click this tool and let's add this to our store. What Zendrop does is it connects us to suppliers all all around the United States and actually helps us get fast shipping on these products. So this is a direct advantage over using solutions like AliExpress. And that's why I'm recommending to start out with this in 2023. Now I'll talk about Zendrop more in a minute, but it's not going to matter until we locate the product we want to sell. Now I'm going to show you my two favorite methods to use in 2023. But before we do that, you're going to want to make sure you have an Excel sheet set up just like this. I'll leave this down in the notes of the video. But basically what we have here is product name, notes about the product, cost of goods and retail, and then product link and ad link. We're going to want to write different potential product ideas down in this list. And you'll understand why this is so beneficial. We do this before we find a product. So the first method I want to show you is using this spy tool called Minia. I've been using this tool for a while. And why I love this tool is because every single day they give us 30 viral products here. So as you see, they have different Facebook products on this list and each of these products have tons of likes so a hundred thousand likes 22,000 likes and personally my favorite section is this TikTok section a lot of the top product videos I post are from these products over here so when you click through you can actually see the full ad you can download the ad you can see more ads from that shop and what's really cool is they also give you a link to their product so this is where it's going to come in handy you're going to want to take this list you're going to want to come over to your spreadsheet and just paste that product link in along with the ad link and then to figure out the cost of goods you can type the product name in on Zendrop and then as you can see you can secure this product here for nine dollars and 49 cents 
plus there's a shipping charge so make sure to get the final total cost and you're going to want to put it in this spreadsheet for the cost of goods so for this example the cost of goods is nearly 22 dollars and if we check the retail price based off the competitor the competitor is currently selling this for 19 dollars and 99 cents which is suspiciously low i don't know how they're selling this so cheap but this gives us a good indication right off the bat that the profit margin isn't so good for this product, which is why I'm recommending you guys to find 10 different products. And another feature to find products using this tool is going to the TikTok ad section and coming over to this search parameter section and first putting in here e-com type Shopify and sorting by likes. I like sorting by at least 500 likes minimum. So it's gonna only show us posts with a minimum of 500 likes and then you can actually sort by first scene. So this is another great strategy to find TikTok ads with a minimum of 500 likes sorted by the first scene. So it's gonna show us newly trending products on TikTok that are being advertised right now. Now, for example, I've only been looking for about a minute and I'm already seeing some really good viral potential products to sell. This is this jewelry website over here that's selling a few different variations. And this is getting over 1 million views on this ad, which means that they're making quite a bit of money right now. So along with this platform, another platform that I recommend is Pippi Ads. And Pippi Ads does work similar to Minia, but it has a different product gallery. And between using these tools, I'm usually able to almost always find a winner. And I'll leave the links for both of these tools down in the description along with the discount code. But essentially to use this tool, I'm doing something pretty similar. I'm going over here, I'm clicking Shopify, and then I'm going over to Total Likes, and I'm gonna sort this by a thousand I like doing a thousand over here on Pippi ads and then again we can go to sort by and what I like doing is sorting by popularity so this is going to show us the most viral products but what happens when you do that is sometimes you'll get posts that are getting too much views so what we'll want to do is we'll want to come down here and we'll want to filter it maybe down to 25,000 and then it's going to give us a smaller product catalog so if you see over here there's this product over here called the sorb and this is a very viral TikTok product. It's basically like an orb that's been promoted as this new viral fidget spinner. So you can see how much cool analytics they give you. This has over 803,000 impressions and it's been advertised for 67 days. And it also gives you an estimated amount of orders. So in my opinion, Pippi Ads has a little bit better of a backend and gives you more valuable data. So using these tools, you should easily be able to fill up your list with a minimum of 10 to 15. 15 products and why I made you guys put this in a spreadsheet is it's very important that we compare all the products on our list before we decide to sell things. I see way too many beginners get into this and make impulse decisions rather than database decisions on what they're going to sell. So here's some different ways that you can base your product selection based off data. Number one, profit margin. You're going to want to make sure that you have a juicy profit margin when you go to sell anything online. I use usually aim for a sale price at minimum of three times the price that I'm getting the product for. So if I'm buying the product for $10, then I'm selling the product for $30. Now, some people think these margins are crazy high and unfair, but I guarantee once you start advertising, you're going to realize why this margin is so important. And then number two, another metric you can consider is virality and how the product did for the past competitors. Now, my rule of advice is that you want to sell a product product that you can market rather easily. And here's my tip for the best priced products to sell. I truly recommend anywhere from $30 up to $80 is the sweet spot for advertising online, especially to impulse buyers. If we want to take advantage of the huge pool of impulse buyers, then this is really important. Now, if you have any questions about this section or you want to show me your product, then put it down in the comments. But in this next section, I'm going to show you how we can build our store and command a premium for our product price so we don't need to compete with other people selling our product and websites like Amazon and eBay. If you master this strategy, then you're going to be ahead of 90% of drop shippers and your success rate is going to go up dramatically. While there's tons of different strategies to set up your Shopify store, in my opinion, the very best 
strategy to get started as a beginner is to use the one product store approach. The one product store approach is focused around selling one singular product, similar to this website over here, the Fly Orb. The effect this has on our business is massive. It makes us look like the originators of the product. So this company over here actually looks like they invented the product and you can see they're even smart. They put wholesale over here. So as a consumer, when I go onto this website, I would think that this is the only brand selling the product and any other brand selling this product is a knockoff. And this is how you position your brand so you're not competing with websites like Amazon and eBay. Because when they go on those websites, they'll view those products as counterfeits and the knockoffs and as lower quality products. But that's only possible if you're able to brand your website well and create a customized experience for them, which I'm gonna show you how to do in a few seconds here. The last thing we need to do before we get to that is to pick our brand name. This is such an important part of the process. So I'm gonna show you my thought process on this laser over here that acts as a tape measure that goes up to 30 meters. So for example, you could call this the Distance Pro. Now one really great way to figure out brand names easily is by going over to ChatGPT and prompting it to come up with 10 brand names. And then at the end of the prompt, just add the product name and you just click enter and it's going to come up with these different brand name ideas. So we see Mies, Ease, Tape, Tech, Digital, dimension smart measure and essentially we're gonna want to go through this domain list and we're gonna want to go on GoDaddy and we're gonna want to enter it in and see if these domains are available so one thing that you're gonna realize is that if you're choosing these shorter domain names then it's gonna be really really unlikely that they're available so one way you can get past this is by adding words like shop in front of your name or you could do buy and by doing that it still allows us to have these clever domain names but without having to have that extremely original URL available. Now the next step we need to do is create our logo and this process is actually super simple. So head over to this website called canva.com. They allow us to make marketing assets very easy and they actually have a free plan available. So what you're gonna need to do is click this logo button over here and what it's gonna do, it's gonna populate us to this page and we have tons of different templates we can choose from and we can actually look in different search parameters over here. So if we're looking for a minimal logo, it will show us all the minimal logos. And for my example today, I'm going to be creating a logo for this device over here. This is a soap foam dispenser and the brand name I chose is Soapy. So I'm going to come over here and look for clean logo templates and it's going to populate all these different templates. So give me a minute. I'm going to create our logo and show you what I made. All right, guys, so here's the logo that we made for Soapy. It's super simple domain over here, but if you see what I did, I was very specific, making sure that I matched the color scheme to the product. So you can see on this product page, they're using a lot of this blue color scheme over here. So if you wanna figure out what color schemes they're using, you can download a tool called Eyedropper on Google Chrome, and you just pick this button, pick color from web page, and it's able to tell us the color code in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, once you have your logo picked out, come over here to share and make sure to download this logo with a transparent background. It's really important we get a transparent version of this logo. And then once it's downloaded, open it up and make sure you crop the rest of the logo out so you only have the text in here. Now, once you have this logo, we're gonna wanna come back over to our Shopify store. We're gonna wanna come to the online store section and come over to themes. Themes is where we're gonna be able to design and create our website. And currently you should have a theme downloaded on your website right now called Dawn. If for any reason you don't have it, just come over to this popular free theme section and make sure you add this, let it populate into your store. And then the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is come over and click this customize button. Now designing a website can be rather complex. So I recommend starting from the top and coming down to the bottom. So let's start out with this announcement bar. I always recommend and having some sort of large sale going on on your product. So for example, this product $16.53 on AliExpress, but on our website, we'd wanna sell this for at minimum of $39.99. Now, even if we're selling it for $39.99, we wanna make it look like the product is on discount. So in this announcement bar, I recommend pointing out to a sale for your products. So you could put over here 50% off our entire site plus free shipping. 
Now remember throughout your website process, make sure to hit save, otherwise it's gonna delete all your hard work. Now the next thing we're gonna wanna do is come over to header, and from the header, we're gonna wanna make sure we click change, and we're gonna wanna remove this, and then we're gonna actually want to upload our logo onto Shopify. So you can see here we are with the logo we created and it's inputted into our website and the site's actually starting to come together. Now the next thing we need to do is come over and set up our image banner. What I recommend you do is to come over and set the image banner on small. You don't need some huge image banner. And one thing I also recommend you do is design your website on the mobile layout. Most of our traffic will be coming to mobile. So if we optimize it for mobile, usually we'll get the best results. Now on this image banner, we're gonna wanna change our image out. So let's come to change, let's remove. And then you can come over to select image and Shopify will have tons of free images we can use as a header banner. So we could look over here and look up clean and see if there's any relevant images we can use. Personally, what I recommend is going back to the AliExpress listing and looking for high quality images we could use. This image over here is really high quality. So what I recommend you do is download a tool called Ali Save Plus, and you can just come over and download all the product photos. And this tool is actually free as well. So you can see they all downloaded. And then what I'm gonna do is come back over to my banner section and I'm gonna upload those photos. Now, as you see, I just selected the image and it's already looking much better. And you can play around with the opacity. This just puts a little bit of a dark film over the image. So you can see this looks a little bit better. And now we're gonna wanna create a headline and a subheadline that captures our customer's attention. Now, my process to do this is rather simple. We're gonna be using ChatGPT to come up with all the copy on our website. If you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's an AI tool that actually writes different stuff for us. So for example, I'm gonna prompt it to come up with five headlines and subheadlines for an automatic soap dispenser. You can type this in and you can see that ChatGPT will feed us different options we can use on our website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy one of these headlines that it gave us, and I'm gonna come over this image banner section, and we're gonna enter the headline in they gave us. Now you can see this is rather large, so you could make this a little bit smaller, and you can see that looks a little bit better, and then you can see they actually added sub headlines. So you can go through these, and you can figure out which headline and sub headline you feel like best represents your product. And you can also interact with ChatGPT. So for example, if you like number five, but it's a little bit too long, you could say, can you make number five shorter? And it's going to send out another variation that we can potentially use. So we're gonna put that sub headline in over here. And then you can see our website starting to come together a little bit more, but what we're gonna wanna do is make sure we set the button up properly. You can use this outline button style, but I recommend you just check this off. So it's gonna be the desired color that you're using for your website. And I also recommend you change this button to shop now. Now the next step I recommend is to come over to these sections and click remove. We're gonna wanna remove everything but this banner section over here. And I'm gonna show you the optimal way we can actually put this together. Let's just remove this multi-column, the video, and make sure you leave this footer as well. So right now your site should look just like this. And what I recommend you do is to click add section. And we wanna come and click this image with text section so we're gonna let this populate and then I recommend coming back to add section and click another image with text section so right now you should have your headline you should have one image with text and another image with text section now we're gonna wanna start out with this first image with text section and add a high quality image of our product. You can see that I already uploaded quite a few images. You can see this is a high quality image right here. And in this image with text section, we wanna talk about some of the benefits with our product. Ideally in this section, we wanna talk about the number one purchasing reason people are buying this product. Now, what I recommend to do to get market research is to come over to Amazon and look for competitors that are selling the same model of your product. So you can see this product is pretty much the same as the listing that we're selling from AliExpress. So what I recommend doing is viewing their listing and seeing some of the benefits that the competitors are using. But more than that, I recommend you scroll all the way down to the customer reviews and read some of the reasons why people are buying these products. For example, this customer wrote this review over here 
saying they bought this gem in their kitchen when they need to wash their raw chicken off their hands. And I think this is a perfect reason why you use Amazon because you're able to learn some of the buyer's intentions easily. So what you could put in this section is clean, hands-free, and in this section, we could list different activities that could be used for cleaning hands free. So what I did was I came over to ChatGPT and asked it for the best use cases for a touch-free soap dispenser. And ultimately, I got to these five different options you can use at home, which is kitchen sink, kids bathroom, bathroom sink, and a guest bathroom, which I think these are all really good options for people to use an automatic soap dispenser. So we can type this in here and you can see the text is rather long so what I would do is I would come over here and I would make sure these are bullet pointed so you could come over on a website like Emojipedia you could copy a check mark over here you could paste this in and you could try to shorten up some of these sections so we could do it like that and here's how this section's looking so now the last thing that I would do is just bold some of these words over here by bolding these words our customers are able to locate different important parts of our website easier. Now we also have to change this button label over here. So I would make sure to put shop now here. And in a few seconds, we're gonna change the color scheme so we can make this whatever color we want. But the last thing we're gonna wanna do on this page is add another high quality image. Make sure you try to find some variation. I think this image is a little bit different. It shows the product actually opening up and talking about the replaceable liquid. Now, honestly, this graphic isn't the best graphic. I would make sure you're using using graphics that are a little bit easier to understand and read. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use this graphic. And in this image with text section, we wanna add some more benefits and more details on those benefits in this section. Now, I just asked ChatGPT to come up with a benefit paragraph for our soap dispenser. And we can come to this section, we can paste it in. And in this section, I'm just gonna say, say goodbye to germs. And then make sure to change this button label up as well. And now on your homepage right now, it's gonna look super simple. The last thing we're gonna wanna do is fill in this footer section. So you can just come down over here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit this eyeball button on the info. And then on mission, you can just write a little bit about your company over here. And then for the quick links, we're gonna be setting this up after we finalize our Shopify page. Now to make this page look a little bit more pretty, we're gonna wanna come to theme settings. We're gonna wanna come to color and you're gonna want to make sure you use the same color scheme as your logo it's really important that we do have some congruency here so what I recommend you do is come over to accent one and paste this in and what this button over here is gonna do is be responsible for your shop nows and now you can see our color schemes coming together a lot better and if you want to change more colors throughout here you can just edit these up one by one now what I recommend you do next is click this drop down button and come over to typography this is where we're going to be able to manage the different fonts on our website so if we don't like the current fonts we have then we can find something that matches our vibe better so for example they have hundreds of different options we can use as text so i'm going to try this dosis one over here you can click select and you can see how much of a difference it really makes on the vibe of your website now the last thing we do before we start to work on our product page is come back over to the theme settings section and come all the way down to checkout because while the logo is going to show on the home page it's not going to show on the checkout page until you select the logo so make sure you do that as well and make sure you also come to the color scheme and make sure it matches the color scheme you want because otherwise it's not going to show our current color scheme so you can see i just changed the color scheme we want it to and now the next thing we're going to want to do is click save now the next thing we're going to want to do is look up our product on Zendrop, make sure we locate it. And then all we're going to do is click to add import list. And then we're going to scroll back to import list and we're going to go import to store. And this is going to push the product to our Shopify store. And here's the listing that they populated. So let's come inside of here and let's make sure the first thing we do is we change the title on our product to our brand name. So you could put over here, soapy touch free dispenser 
And then you'll see this little button over here that says auto write. So you can click on this and this is another AI tool that Shopify recently put in here. So it says list product features and keywords. So for example, we could just put our automatic soap dispenser inside of here and then we could put rewrite and it's gonna start coming up with some different copy for our product. So you could see it only came up with one sentence over here. Now, if you want a better product description, just come over, copy this product name down and let's come back over to ChatGPT and let's tell them to write us a conversion optimized product description for our product. So we're gonna type this in and you can see that it's gonna spit out a very compelling product description. So we're gonna enter this into our website and then we're gonna add a couple images and you can see that our product page will pretty much be ready to go. And then we'll talk about advertising. So I'm gonna type in that text that ChatGPT gave us. And as you can see, there's a lot of text over here and you really don't need your product page to have this much text. You really want this to be consumed so I recommend you add some product images in here. Luckily that listing had tons of images. So I'm going to insert that image. And then what I also recommend is that you put some bullet points about the use cases, the product, talk about all the different benefits you can, and also talk about what different guarantees you have on your product. I found by putting in a very lenient refund policy and adding it to our product description, it really helps increase our conversion rate on our website. Now, once you get your product description how you want, make sure you click save. And we're gonna wanna make sure that our variants are set up correctly. So these are the different options they're gonna be able to purchase from us. So you could see that Zendrop imported all of the different variants already. So we don't need to mess with that. But if you wanna change these product images, you're gonna need to click on each of these and make sure they match up on the listing. And we can also manipulate the pricing on this as well. So if we wanna come over to the bulk editor, then what this is gonna allow us to do is change the pricing and then the compare app pricing. So if we want our website to look like the products on sale, then we could come over and type $79.99 and we could put $39.99 right here and we could say that our website's 50% off. Now, after you set up your pricing in your product, let's preview our website. You can see our product page over here. If I was actually advertising this, I would wanna make sure that I was getting rid of some of these product images that have a ton of text over here. And I would make sure to simplify this and bold some of the important text. Now, before you go out and think about advertising, you're gonna wanna come to the settings of your store and you're gonna wanna come to shipping and delivery. So in this shipping and delivery section, you're gonna wanna come over to general shipping rates click manage and we're going to want to scroll down first to domestic so if you want to offer free shipping for the entire world which i recommend you do you're first going to need to set it up in your domestic country which for me is united states and i'm going to want to remove everything but just one of these options we're going to come inside of here we're going to click edit and you can change the name of the shipping service so if you have five to eight day shipping or you want to change the shipping time depending on what it is on aliexpress or zen drop you can do it there and if you want to charge for shipping you can put it here but i really don't recommend you charge for shipping i recommend you come over here to minimum price put zero on this so any customer who goes to your store is going to get free shipping in the united states and then you're going to need to do the same thing for international as well so make sure to remove all of the rates come at a rate we're going to want to set up our own rate we're going to want to name this free shipping and go to conditions and you could go to based on order price and just keep it at zero dollars and you're going to be offering free shipping for the entire world so then after you're done with that let's just click save and you're pretty much all done with the shipping aspect of this but you're going to want to come over to payments and you're going to want to make sure you activate shopify payments so your store can accept payments and if you want to get your paypal account integrated you can integrate paypal and this is how you're going to be able to start receiving payments you can link your bank account directly to shopify and it's going to deposit those payments every single day 
Now, before you go out and advertise, come to the Shopify app store and look at different essential apps you're going to need for your business. One that I really recommend you guys get started with is adding a review tool for your website. And you might think right off the bat, I have no reviews for my product right now. Why would I download a review tool? But a lot of these companies will actually allow us to integrate directly from AliExpress like this tool over here. So it can allow your product to look like it already has reviews and customers, which is a really important part of adding social proof to your website so you can start getting sales. Now, if you follow this process all the way through, your dropshipping business will be ready to start advertising. Advertising is one of the most important parts, and if we don't figure this out, then it's impossible to make profits. If you guys want me to drop a detailed tutorial going over the best ways to advertise in 2023, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to release it. I hope this video was super valuable to beginners who want to start drop shipping. And if you want to see more like this video and subscribe to the channel, peace out.